This is a Local 10 News Update, sponsored by Wellmax Medical Centers. Good afternoon, South Florida. I'm Andrew Perez. And I'm Syra Onward. Here's a look at your top stories today. An intense search is underway for a shooter who opened fire on a group of teens in southwest Miami-Dade. It happened Friday evening at an apartment complex in the area of southwest 216th Street. 14 victims, two as young as 13, were taken to the hospital. Anyone with information is asked to call Miami-Dade Crime Stoppers. Meanwhile, a crime alert in northeast Miami-Dade. Two people hurt in what police are describing as a road rage incident. This happened just before 2.30 Friday on Northeast 16th Avenue leading to I-95. Police say a driver in a black Honda Accord was shot by somebody in a blue sedan. That Honda then crashed a few blocks away. The driver and passenger both taken to the hospital. Detectives now looking for leads. And it's time to set sail in Fort Lauderdale today. A massive new ship named after the city is officially being added to the Navy's fleet. The years long effort to get this ship on the water finally came with today's commissioning. The floating mobile military base is equipped with missile launchers, hovercrafts and other high tech equipment. Also, Miami Beach police searching for a gunman who opened fire outside a busy restaurant. One person was taken to the hospital. Police shut down 13th Street and Washington Avenue for several hours. It happened just after 9 o'clock Thursday night outside Harold Shrimp and Chicken in South Beach. Witnesses say the shooting happened after an argument, and we are told the victim is now out of the hospital. Remember, as breaking news happens, we've got you covered on air and online. Just head to local10.com for more local news coverage.